Well, in front of me, I've got some brushes which are for sale from one of the sponsors of the event. And there's your first clues as you look down the stairs to your right-hand side that graining and marbling perhaps means something different to what I thought. So we've got panels of wood to our right and squares of marble. And Pete from the college is going to tell me what on earth's going on here? What is graining and marbling? <laughs> it's, not, it's not my bag of marbles that I bought, is no, it? No, it isn't, no. It's, um, in, in days of old, should we say, when materials were expensive, it was very difficult to get the specialist decorative timber or marbles because they'd all been used up yep. and it was expensive to forget. So the artisans at the time were, were very clever and realised that using paint and what we call pigments and scumbles, we could actually replicate timber and marble. And it got to, to such an extent that it goes to international acclaim now that how good you are is how good you can grain a marble. And people are actually fooled because they don't realise that it's actually timber or marble. You would never know. This panel in front of us it's here, like that just looks like... Maple, yeah. It looks just like a, a really expensive panel of wood, yes. and above it, that yeah, just looks like marble. marble. Yeah, that's, that's right. Amazing. And, and it's all been done by brush and the scumble and the eye of the, of the decorator. And this is, this is something that's happening... Here and nowhere else in the UK, it's the the only Olympics, it as it were. So Olympics. that suggests there's a competition as well, is it there, is, this weekend? Yes, what's happening is the students are in classes as we walk through into the workshops. They're yeah. doing graining, marbling, stenciling, and gilding classes, because as part of this, part of the schemes that the students do, we talk about gilding and gold leaf. Yeah. We're giving the students the full experience of the high-end decorative uh, trade. Stuart McDonald's been doing this for a while. Just looks like wood and marble to me, Stuart. Yes, it is. Um, I guess that's the idea. <laughs> as well, what we're trying to do is what's called trump loy. It's um, trump loy is French. It means trick the eye. What we're doing is um, trying to trick the eye into thinking flat surfaces are three-dimensional. So what we do is we put highlights and shadows on maybe a wood or marble panel, and it gives an illusion of depth. How long would it take me to learn that? Um, you can learn the basic techniques in half an hour. Um, no way. To do that? To do the basic techniques are very, very what simple. What do you do? Um, well, basically, what I do is I put a bit of tape down. I can give you a quick demo if you want. This is an oak panel. This is an oak panel which I've trump lloyd into mouldings. Um, and what I, I could do is I could put... I could show you a quick shadow. What you do is you get a wee bit of tape here. Yeah. And this is the simple technique. Put a bit of tape down. Put a wee bit of base coat. And then we get the darker colour, pre-mixed darker colour. Put that down. So you've just painted that on the edge of the yes, tape. on the edge of the tape. Push it in with a special brush called a mottler. Then go on another special brush, badger softener. Badger it into the tape. Take the tape off. And that gives you a shadow. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I see that, which make it, makes it look like just a piece of aged... Oak. Yes, yeah, it gives you a shadow. It gives you... a an illusion of depth. Fantastic. So are you an artist? I'm not an artist, I'm actually a decorator. I always stress that um, this is part of decorating. There's more to decorating than just emulsioning, hanging wallpaper. Um, this, I feel, has always been the higher end of the decorating trade. OK, well, we're going to go and have a look now at some of the students who are trying to learn this, yeah. and that's in the room just to my right-hand side. Pete is in charge of the painting and decorating course here at Stoke-on-Trent College. Mm -hmm. It's quite something seeing, what, 50, 50 students and yeah, like that. Yeah. All having engaged, a go, all, all engaged, really engaged yeah. having a go, and, and producing, you know, marbles, uh, decorative techniques, gold leaf and gilding, which is normally left to the high-end tradesmen who've been years in the trade, who are normally employed to do that. These are getting a chance to do it here at the college under the guidance of the what I call master craftsmen and then they're producing their own panels which they'll be able to take home with them at night. The sponsors have kind of agreed to sponsor the materials and tools which they can take away and hopefully we, we're promoting the decorative arts and showing that the trade can be taken to a higher level. Well, when you think about painting and decorating, yeah. you just think about whitewashing walls that's and right, that's, you know, doing your skirting says, boards. If you, yeah, if you've got a brush in your hand, you can paint, basically. We all fancy say. we can decorate, yeah, don't that's we? That's right, but as you can see from the samples now, what these are producing, which was a blank canvas, yeah. you know, less than five or ten minutes ago, it's been shown that 
they can up the skills very quickly and very easily and they can get into a market which is in demand. So we've got students here making yep. things that look like white marble. That's right, with Carrera a, with marble, a, with a, with a Carrera marble, which yeah, is a white one. marble with a grey grain in it. So how seriously is the competition going to be taken this weekend? There's a competition amongst the students, but yeah. there's also a competition yeah. amongst the professionals as well. There is, yeah. It'll be taken very seriously. There's this, uh, this unknown thing like, oh, I'm only here to, you know, to show people and have, a, and have a good fun. But when they actually start to compete... They will try the dumbest to do the best thing, get, get that out. What are the prizes? A, so they're oh, going to get judged, obviously, for what yes, they do. Yes, they will get judged. The, obviously, the craftsmen will be doing a full door, whereas our students are doing one small panel. Yeah. We've got some doors, and over the weekend, they will be doing a full panel, and they will be judged on that panel. And obviously, we've got lots of experts here, not just the ones taking the classes. What are they doing, David? Oak. Right. And how do they uh, do that? Str straight grain. Well, well, used in various tools, but mostly with combs at, at the moment and we're using the acrylic water-based clays. So they've had a practice run, and then they'll be trying to get a good result uh, this time this time around. Although some of, them, some of them have got some good results already. Yeah, there's some good, good results yeah. looking around the room. Let's have a word with Rich. Yeah. Rich, how's yours getting on? Hey, all right, I've just done a practice one, and uh, it's going to show us a different way of doing it now. What do you make of all this? Yeah, it's good, it's interesting. Yeah. It's a change, isn't it? It's, uh... So your third year, 22 now, yeah. part-time here, yeah. you're an apprentice. Yeah. When you got into doing pa painting and decorating, did you think anything like this would be involved? No, not really. And uh, what about the competition? Are you hoping to win that? Because there's some good prizes up for grabs, aren't there? Well, I'll see how it goes. Give it a crack, yeah. give it a crack. He doesn't sound too confident. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, normally. <laughs> I think tomorrow when the competition starts, they'll be in, so... Uh, It'll be good, yeah. I mean, obviously, what they're doing today is the training sessions for them, uh, just to refresh the memory. They've done it on the courses, and then what they're doing is they will be competing tomorrow in the student competition. So they've given them a little bit of prep, and then tomorrow it's serious, and they have to do it on their own, and then get to the same standards that they've been getting today. The UK's only marbling and graining Olympics are taking place in Burslem this weekend. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Thank you.